Morning, everybody. Uh, Stevie Timmons here, used car dealer on a late Sunday morning in January. Still freezing. We know it'll go away, though. Uh, I was thinking about something this morning that uh, um, that I that I find really curious and intriguing when it comes to uh, the opinion of who Jesus was um, and who he is today. Uh, I I remember sharing a couple of uh, a couple uh, episodes ago about um, when Jesus spoke with his disciples, um, particularly Peter, and asked them uh, what they'd heard about him, what was the general consensus or opinion, the world's opinion of who he was, and and then I uh, um, I my favorite part is is when he just he just said okay thank you for that but then uh, then he looks Peter in the eyes and he says uh, you know Peter who do you say I am what's your opinion of me and I really um, I like to my opinion of him um, I I I I don't want to I don't want to infer that it changes every day but uh, my opinion of who Jesus was is, is it seems to I have a, a higher opinion of him. The more I learn about him, the more I know about him, or the more I imagine I know about him, my opinion, I have a, I have a, I hold him in the highest esteem. Um, he has tremendous integrity. Speaking of which, I, um, I've got a dictionary this morning because I want to share with you the definition of integrity. Uh, it says the quality or state of being, a complete, uh, unbroken condition, wholeness, entirety. Uh, the quality uh, or state of being unimpaired, perfect, um, in terms of condition, perfect condition, soundness, and, and three, and this is really um, what I want to apply to uh, uh, Jesus and whether or not he had integrity. The quality or state of being of sound moral principle, uprightness, honesty, and sincerity. So according to the definition of uh of the dictionary, um, I just want to talk about whether or not Jesus had any integrity. And it's my contention, um, well, let me just say it, because uh, I have the tact of a moth. I, my contention is, is that Jesus is either who he said he was completely, all of it is, is audacious as some, some of it might have been to the listener, and even today, um, He's either who he said he was completely, or he is the biggest liar, the biggest scam artist that ever walked the planet Earth. And if you're really honest and um, and you examine those things that he spoke and shared, uh, and and you examine your own, you do an introspection and, ex and examine your own opinion. Uh, of those things that he spoke and shared, not just the ones you're comfortable with, but including the ones that you're, you're potentially very uncomfortable with. Um, y y you know, y y y it causes you to, to, to say, whoa, you know, uh, yeah, he was, either, he was either who he said he was completely, or he was somewhere, he was nuts, he was out there. Um, and uh, relative to the definition of integrity, he, he certainly didn't have any integrity because after all, last time I borrowed money from the bank, <laughs> you when you sign a promissory note um, and you know they do your credit score and all that good stuff, very often your integrity is based on your, your uh, um, uh, prior business endeavors and so on and, and uh, your, your covenant to pay or, or um, uh, to uh, repay the loan and uh, you better have a high credit score and you better um, when you sign that note be fully aware that uh, your integrity is 